Hi everyone, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing my uh, January empties today. I uh, went through the cupboard the past month and I'm just trying to use up half burned candles or some that had just a few hours left on them. I also came across some candles that I've burned three or four times and they have no throw. Uh, they're tunneling and I'm like, why am I hanging on to these four? So I'm getting rid of those too. Um, so I'll start with the ones um, that uh, I, I don't know why I'm hanging on to them for, um, so I thought I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, I need more space. I got some more Goose Creek candles coming, um, so I need more space. So this first one that I burned a few times, I have given it a chance, uh, but I've kind of given up, is um, Breezy Beach by Home Trends, and this is the one that you can buy in the uh, Walmart Canada's. We're starting to get the mainstay uh, candles in our Walmart now, um, but this is the, the brand they've been carrying here. I can't even smell this anymore. It's totally lost its scent even on cold throw. It's tunneled, the wick is off center, um, there was no scent. Uh, goodbye. Then I got two of these, I don't know why I got two, but anyway, there's two Glade Clean Linens. And if you look on this, the, the wick is just so tiny, it's like a little piece of thread. It's just a tiny little thing. Um, if I put this in like a small bathroom, I could smell it, sort of. Um, it tunneled like anything. It's just, it's just not worth the hassle. Uh, this one I bought, a f geez, I don't know when it was, a couple of years ago? I can't remember, in um, Home Sense, Decor Wear Ink. I'm, with the name Decor Wear, I'm assuming this might be a DW candle. The label has changed because it's been a couple of years. I'm not positive. It's a really nice looking candle. Oh, if I can get it open. It was three wick. This one was supposed to be cinnamon apple. It smells like lemons. It, um, I can't smell it when it's burning. Uh, as you can see, it tunneled like crazy, and that's when I, I foiled it and everything, and it's still tunneled like crazy. Uh, I keep putting it back on the shelf. I don't know why, but it, it's out of here. Uh, this is a Chesapeake Bay Candle Bamboo Forest. Uh, when this was burned, it's a lovely smell on coal. Uh, nice, fresh, brisk kind of greenery scent. But I foiled this one. Uh, I gave it one more chance before I f filmed this. I gave it one more chance, but it just tunneled even with the foil. Um, you can't smell it when it's burning, so that one's gone. And then this is uh, Sensational. This is this is not the same company as the Sensational's Wax Tart. Uh, the, the Sensational's Wax Tarts are made in like the Provo, Utah, I believe. And these one, this one's made in Venice, Florida, so it's a different company. Um, this one's Lemongrass, and it smells great on, on cold. It's kind of like a, a herbal laundry scent. Uh, but I can't smell it when it's burning. I had problems tunneling. It kind of cracked itself with foil, but again, why bother? It's just not worth the hassle. So those are the ones that uh, I gave them a chance. They failed. So um, these are the ones that were fairly successful, these ones. This one I just got, I'm going to finish up today. It's the White Barn Harvest Gathering from last fall. This was basically a perfect candle. Uh, there was absolutely no puny wicks. If anything, I had to blow it out after about three hours uh, because the flames were just so big. Um, this scented up my entire downstairs and floated up the stairs. It was just an absolutely perfect candle and I absolutely love this scent. It's it's kind of a cinnamon base, but there's an earthiness about the cinnamon. It's not that sharp kind of cinnamon. 
it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I think I burnt the Harvest Gathering from this fall. I don't think it's quite as strong, and it smells a little bit different. Uh, but this one, I'm sad to see this one go. This was just, it was a 10 out of 10. Burn-wise, throw-wise, it's just a perfect candle. And there's the um, White Barn Pumpkin Gingerbread. This was actually a really nice scent. It was a nice blend of the pumpkin and gingerbread. It uh, burned quite well. Might have to uh, dab it with cotton a few times, but that was no big deal because this, the throw on this was really, really good. And I really wish they would bring this one back. If it was repackaged as something, let me know. Um, but this one was, I was quite impressed with this one. And of course, apple pumpkin uh, pancakes. Uh, great burn, maybe cotton balled it a few times, but if I can smell it, I don't care if I have to cotton ball it. The throw was strong. Uh, I think I have a couple of backups. Uh, this one was just a, a really nice candle. And I just finished this off last night, Evergreen. And on my last empties, I think I reviewed Sleigh Ride. I think this is a repackage of the sleigh ride. It's basically like um, Fresh Balsam had a baby with Fireside. It's just that um, there's that balsam, but it's a very rich, smoky kind of uh, scent. I blow this out at night, and I come downstairs, and I can still smell it in the air. And um, I went down this morning, and I could still smell it, and I think I finished it like yesterday afternoon so it's it's it really lingers and it's a, just a beautiful cozy scent so I'm hoping the one that I, I did get one this year with the like the little cartoon animals on it I hope that's as as nice and as strong as as this one. Oh, tis the season uh, just one of my favorite um, winter scents from uh, Bath and Body Works I just uh, I just love that smell. It's just, um, I, I like fruit scents if they're deep and rich, and uh, this one is. It threw quite well. It's a very good throw. And it's just a great smell, um, and I definitely repurchase this every year. I hate to see that one go. And I'm in uh, sweater weather. I think this one's maybe from not this past fall but the other the fall before that I love sweater weather I'll always love it um, this one has a great throw it's just a very soothe it's almost spa like to me um, it's kind of one I'd like to kind of burn year round actually and uh, definitely every year I get one or two of those Oh, this colonial candle, I showed it on my other empties, but I wasn't quite done. I still had a few hours left. The colonial candle creamy latte. Uh, it was a three wick. Um, it burned just beautifully. Uh, it just sent it up my entire downstairs and went up the stairs. It's just a beautiful, a perfect blend of coffee and kind of a creamy, rich uh, latte. Uh, you can actually see the oils. If you're wondering what that brown stuff is, that's actually the, the oils on the bottom. Uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful scent, and uh, I'd love to find these again. I probably won't, but man, I was sad to see this one go. And then another uh, classic from Bath and Body Works is Winter. Again, one candle I'll never get tired of. I make sure I get one or two every winter. I just, oh, it's just a, such a, a soothing, fresh scent. I just absolutely love this one. And all the throws are pretty good on all these. I was quite impressed. And just so I've got some tarts. 
I just have so many clam shells. I don't have that many empties of these. Um, this is uh, Country Home Candle, which is uh, Maine, Canada here. Uh, cotton fields, just a nice, um, fresh, it's just kind of a straight up laundry scent. Uh, uh, but nice and brisk and had probably about a medium throw on that. Uh, I think this was on my other empties, uh, No Place Like Home, a very strong cinnamon scent. Uh, one cube, that's all you need. Uh, it's a very strong cinnamon scent. Um, so if you like that scent, yeah, this is a good one. And this is Glade Pure Vanilla Joy. Um, I couldn't finish this. It it didn't have much scent, and when it 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 smells like dog pee. Um, a lot of people compare some candles to to cat pee, but I don't have a cat. But it smells like dog pee. I just I just couldn't finish it. Uh, this is Ashland's uh, Autumn Gatherings. This is your autumn gathering line. This is autumn walk. This is kind of a dupe for sweater sweater weather, though it's, it smells a little bit like autumn day, the one Bath and Body Works candle they have. But yeah, it's very similar to to um, to sweater weather. And these new Ashlands are, are great. They have um, a really good throw and they last uh, a lot longer than their kind of sticky soy counterparts. So these Ashlands are definitely a repurchase. And then Pear and Peppercorn, that's another country home candle. Uh, wax Melt, um, that's made here in Canada. And this is kind of fruity, earthy. Um, this one had kind of a light to medium throw. It did kind of better in a, in a smaller room, but it was kind of refreshing. And Sorry. Um, these are these are this is this is basically the second half of my January empties. I did one about mid January, um, so this is my second half of all the ones I went through in January. So I've been um, getting rid of quite a few candles. So these are just some soaps. Uh, this is Mountain Air Bath and Body Works. This came out last fall, and I'm still I like the label so much. I, I bought a pile of these and it's just a, a lovely lovely fresh uh, uh, smell so uh, this is fresh sparkling snow I got a pile of these because of the label and I do like the smell uh, but the labels just absolutely beautiful so got a few more of those uh, kitchen Mandarin and Fresh Thyme. I really don't smell the thyme. It's not that herbally. It's more the Mandarin you can smell, but it was a very nice scent. I like using that in the kitchen. That's some of my beauty stuff I'll leave. Um, little pocket back of Tis the Season. I love the candle. I love the uh, pocket back. Uh, this is... A wallflower and smoked berries and incense. That's a beautiful, beautiful um, scent. It's um, oh, that writing's tiny. Cedarwood incense, smoked red berries, and a hint of Madagascar vanilla bean. Yeah, it's just a very um, woodsy, earthy, fruity note to it. It's just a. It's really nice, and I've had this going. Oh, for about a week and a half in my bathroom and I can still smell it. It's starting to taper off a bit, but I can still smell it and it's it's, it's a beautiful scent. I really like that um, is it opulence and intrigue line. I really like that. And then I got um, Ski Lodge in the Wallflower. It's a little bit light. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Uh, my candle is a, a pretty good throw, but this one's a little bit on the light side, but um, I love Ski Lodge. 
and right now I have burning in my warmer back here uh, fall in love with Tuscany I absolutely love this scent it's um, very rich it's a rich greenery woodsy scent um, and it's got a little bit of a uh, kind of a sharp spicy note but it's kind of in the background but oh man this one's very very nice and I've got uh, toasted almond in, going in the kitchen that's Ashland one uh, it's hard to find uh, an almond scented candle and this oh man this one is just like that sweet almond extract it just smells so nice and um, luckily I got a couple of these I hope they bring them out again next year because that scents really nice and that's it for my empties for January um, I went through oh I don't know seven or eight this last half of the month I think the first half of the month I went through about ten of them so uh, making some room in my cupboards and this afternoon I'm going to the London Lightning game we have a professional basketball team here teams here in Canada now <clears throat> and um, the owner of the London Lightning was buggy my husband my husband does a lot of work for him so gotta buy these tickets and oh, okay um, that was five years ago I'm totally hooked now um, I wasn't <laughs> After our son died, we had to renew our tickets, and I just, I had no enthusiasm for life in general. Um, I'm getting there and kind of getting back into the swing of things, but it's very hard. Um, but my husband convinced me that we got to keep living. we got to keep going. Let's buy the tickets. It's a distraction. Let's buy them tickets. So we bought some more season tickets for them, and I'm glad I did because it does get me out of the house, and um, uh, they are great games. Uh, so... Anyway, uh, my husband's been a tower of strength, I tell you. I don't know uh, how I get through a day without him. But anyway, that's where I'm going to the London Lightning game, cheer them on. And um, so I hope you enjoyed my empties video. And I'm looking forward to everyone else's empty videos. They're fun to watch. Um, so everyone have a, a great day and we'll see you soon.